Hey, what's going on? It's Mike, and I'm here with another episode of Smart Simple Digital. So, I love podcasts. Like, I listen to a bunch of podcasts. I look forward to, the, to some of my favorite podcasts coming out each week, the same way that some people might look forward to their favorite shows airing on TV every week, you know? They are by far, you know, when it comes to digital media, they are by far one of my favorite sources uh, for information and entertainment, no question. However, I am constantly reminded that there are still a lot of people out there who don't know what the heck podcasts are or who might have heard the term podcast but still don't have really much clue on how to start exploring them and listening to them. So I figured I would do today's talk, you know, this podcast one-on-one -on -one talk, um, just to serve as a reference for anybody out there who might be interested in learning more about podcasts and looking for some tips on how to start exploring them and listening to them. So that's what today's episode is all about. So a podcast is a recorded audio series. You can think of it as like a radio show. And you know, they're, they're packaged as episodes and made available online. And from there, anyone can subscribe to them and they can download them to a computer or a smartphone. And from there, you can then listen to them anytime you want to. Uh, the really cool thing about podcasts is that they come in a variety of formats and genres you know literally like there there is quite possibly a podcast or multiple podcasts that exist for just about any interest or topic that you can think of you know i mean right off the off the bat i can think of pod just the different categories of podcasts that exist you know there are comedy podcasts ones that focus on news politics pop culture um cooking books TV, religion, technology. I mean, you name it, there's likely a podcast out there that exists. Uh, the other thing is they come in all sorts of formats. So there are some podcasts that are one-on-one uh, -on -one dialogues or one-on-one -on -one interviews. So every episode, the host is sitting down with a different guest and they are just having a Q&A discussion. There are also podcasts that are roundtable discussions or panel discussions where you may have two or more hosts and every episode they're talking about just a wide range of subjects and maybe happenings in pop culture, etc. cetera. Uh, then they, you also have podcasts that, that take the form of storytelling. So you may have a host or multiple hosts and they are using sound effects or sound bites from various sources just to, to craft a really uh, interesting narrative, really interesting story, whether fiction or nonfiction. Uh, you also have podcasts that are talks, you know, where every episode the host is giving a talk or sermon or some type of instruction or inspiration, if you will. So all sorts of different formats for podcasts. Uh, in addition to that, the other thing that makes podcasts really cool is that they can be created by anyone. So you have your just regular everyday people creating podcasts, you know, about whatever things that they are maybe experts in or be really passionate about. You now have companies who are getting into the podcast game and they're producing podcasts, you know, about, you know, whatever their brand or market might be. And then you also have uh, celebrities now who are podcasting and, you know, it's just a really, really, really diverse field right now, which makes podcasts really cool and interesting. So just to give you a bit of backstory, a little history on podcasts, uh, podcasts have actually been around since the early 2000s. However, the main difference between podcasts as they existed then versus podcasts now uh, can really comes down to accessibility. So back in the early days, um, you needed to number one, in order to, to discover and to listen to podcasts, you number one needed to have a computer with an internet connection. Number two, you needed to have a special type of software installed in your computer in order to, to access and to download episodes of podcasts. And then number three, you needed to have an MP3 player. And if you're not familiar, an MP3 player um, was and is, I guess they still exist, they are portable music players. And I guess the the more the popular the most popular one at the time back in the early 2000s was Apple's iPod. Uh, but of course, there were many different types that were around. So the way the process would work is uh, number 1, you had to know that 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 a podcast existed because there was a point in time where there was not a central directory for podcasts. You would either discover them because you were following maybe uh, a blogger online who created one. 
Once you knew what the feed was, where that podcast was stored at, you would then use that uh, podcast software that you had installed on your computer. You would use that to then download new episodes of the podcast from that person that you followed. And then you'd have to plug your mp3 player you have to connect your mp3 player to your computer and then transfer those files those mp3 files those new episodes of that podcast that you were subscribed to you would down you would transfer those files over to your mp3 player and then then you listen to those episodes on your mp3 player that's how that's how it would go and you would have to follow those steps every time a new episode of your favorite podcast came out as time went on, as, as we uh, now are here today, those steps still exist, but they have been simplified tremendously. So you can do all of those steps that I just uh, explained. You can now do all those things really from just one location. Um, in, in most cases, the simplest way to do it is right on your phone. You don't have to, you don't really need a, a computer anymore. I mean, you don't have to to know any specific feeds on where their uh, podcasts are located. All those things are normally just simplified and centralized all in one location um, on your phone. So the quickest and simplest way to get started uh, exploring and listening to podcasts is with your smartphone and with a podcast app. So if you have an iPhone, you should use, I would recommend that you, you start by using the, the native, the podcast app that comes pre-installed on your iPhone. And if you have an Android device, I would recommend that you start with the Google Play Music app. At a very base level, all podcast apps are the same. They're gonna offer you some of the same basic features. These are the ones you, that are most important. Uh, number one, they're going to give you the ability to discover and explore the realm of podcasts. So you'll be able to uh, to see the podcasts out there just by category. You can explore by category to, just to see what's out there. You can explore by popularity. So you'll be able to see the top charts to see what podcasts are really kind of hot right now, what's going on. Uh, you'll also be able to discover podcasts by keywords. So you can search based on your uh, interests, uh, based on topics that you're looking for. Also, uh, podcast apps will give you the ability to subscribe. Um, so once you find a podcast that you're interested in, you can click the subscribe button. And then what happens there after that point is that every time a new episode becomes available, it will automatically get placed over into a special section in your podcast app where you can easily find it and in some cases get notified every time a new episode is available so you can just go in and start listening and you you know kind of eliminates the step eliminates the hassle of, of every time um, having to go into the app and just search for your podcast instead once you subscribe all the new episodes would be automatically kind of sifted out and placed in a special section for you just to start to listen and then the other kind of main feature the other common feature most important feature that all podcast apps will give you the ability to do is to listen so you will be able to listen to podcasts those that you either subscribe to or just as you're just going through exploring and you see something that catches your eye you can just start to instantly listen to them so uh that's my tip i think again that's the quickest simplest way to start exploring podcasts start to explore and to listen to them just to start start with your smartphone and start with the apps uh, the native apps that are available for your smartphone. Again, if you have an iPhone, uh, use the podcast app that comes pre-installed. And if you have an Android uh, uh, phone, use the Google Play Music app. I, I would recommend those two as good starting points. And then from there, as you get more comfortable, as your tastes grow, your demands for different features grow, then you can start to, to branch out and explore some of the other third-party podcast apps that exist out there. There are a bunch of them. So those are my tips. I, I hope that this information has been helpful and I hope that it helps to, to get you started on your journey to, to start exploring and listening to podcasts. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. You know, Don't be afraid to reach out to me with questions that you may have. Uh, and if you like this information, again, if you found it helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel as well. And again, if there's anything, any, any things that you'd like me to talk about in some of the upcoming episodes, let me know as well and drop those down below in the comments also. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.